it almost feels like decade and a half since we talked about The Walking Dead on this channel, even though it's just been a month, I felt like I needed a break from The Walking Dead content that we do on the channel. And the past couple of days, you might have noticed a change in the content type and a change in video games that I'm covering on the channel. And that really helped my perspective and helped me realize a lot of stuff regarding The Walking Dead content that we did on the channel previously. So the conclusion is I will try to be more entertaining, more information for more scientific and psychological type of videos for you guys so that they can be entertaining they can entertain you guys and so you can feel at the end of the day that subscribing to this channel was worth it but enough of rambling around today we're discussing potential season five which i know is not confirmed but kent model the creative director of the final season and ian the ceo of skybound games did say that they're gonna work on more walking dead games in the future so here we are with the discussion of things to expect from upcoming walking dead game either a dlc or a full-blown season five so here here are 5 things to expect from The Walking Dead Game Season 5 by Skybound Games. Number 1. Continuing the Tradition Okay, let me take you all the way back to when Skybound took over this project for the first time. Ian, CEO of Skybound Games, mentioned it clearly and specifically that the only people that can finish these Walking Dead games are the ones that started it, aka still not bitten team. We learned that even after Season 4, they're still working in Skybound Games, obviously making definitive series, however, it could be possible that they still in Skybound Games and work on future Walking Dead games with the same team members. Which brings me to my second point and that is Telltale Games. We all know they were popular and loved by the fans because of its different unique style and more specifically their stories. And that is why one of the big things to expect from Season 5 is the same traditional graphics. Although it would be cool to continue with the comical style like Season 4 but the story should always be the focus because the stories in these games are the heart and they are the reason that we fans love it. Number two, AJ as main character. All right, listen, I haven't finished my sentence yet, okay? I, I meant AJ as main character for season five, but with completely new characters. This is what I believe needs to happen, and it was hinted in episode four of The Walking Dead final season. Kent Model said that they wanted to test out a new feature, specifically when you're playing as AJ. All of the things that are going in his head while that moment, you see that a new feature of choices. That style specifically made me confident that the future content regarding this game has to be related with this kid in some way, shape, or form. However, what they don't need to do is continue with school kids because trust me, that would kill the community because of milking these characters and bland story. We've already finished our story with these kids, so what we need instead is a completely new set of characters with AJ being the main one of course. Either introduce him a bit later to add a shock moment just like season 3 with Javier and Clementine or having as a main character, surviving with completely completely new group with completely new mindset and motive or maybe finding new one while searching for his enemies that hurt his family and friends and continuing that point specifically which brings us to point number three flashbacks what do i mean by flashback whose flashbacks well this point matches with my previous point where aj would be going around with the one goal in his head and that is to avenge his group and then we can have flashbacks of what happened to previous characters that we met and how and why aj got to this point if not this way the other way around could be continuing the story with someone from previous season, having them as an ally and then seeing a flashback of what happened to their past. The reason I'm saying we need flashback is because if we're gonna get a season 5 instead of a DLC, a DLC that let's say would have told a backstory in some form or flashback of some character from school, if we're not gonna have a DLC, might as well add that in there. But it's only gonna work if AJ is the main character. However, that might not be the case. Which brings us to point number 4, 3 episodes only. Now hold on just a second. Before bashing me in the comments, let me explain you why. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, Skybound Games, a still not bitten team, the team that worked and finished the final season consists of 25 employees only. Well, that's what I heard from the sources, so unless they expand the team even further to the point where they can easily make 5 episodes, cutting down to 3 episodes specifically to tell a small story of AJ, continuing Lee and Clementine's legacy while learning about Violet or Lewis or other characters' backstory in details could be the way to go. They can test it out if they can really make heavy game by making only three episodes and then plan something big for the future. It doesn't have to be season six or DLC, it could be a new franchise. But you might be thinking, all right, what is the threat? What should be the plot of this game? What should be the plot of season five? Well, that brings us to our final point, and that is Caravan, Delta, Richmond, and Russians. I think it's safe to say that we can finally finish what season two and season three had started because we didn't tackle that much of that part in season four. Sure, we learned a little bit of 
groups, raiders in form of Delta and their ship, but that's about it. How the politics work around groups, how they deal and trade with other groups. In episode 4, they hinted at continuing the story for these characters by adding Caravan and making player feel like, hey, there is more. This is where the point of other groups comes in. Caravan, Delta, Richmond, and Russian scavengers. Add all these into the mix, all these groups. If we've learned anything from season 3 is that they have some sort of connection in any way, shape, or form. In light that part, give these groups, the villain, these characters more development, more humanness. So then when it comes to fighting these characters, groups we feel more than just, you're a bad person, I wanna kill you. And season 3 did that perfectly, showing how these groups have to do whatever they can to survive. AJ could learn that as it's one of the only things he's yet to learn, and experiencing it firsthand in season 5 is your way to go. Who knows, we might finally get the epic showdown we were all waiting for, AJ versus freaking Arvo. Now that, my friend, <laughs> is some dream fantasy right there, which I know is not gonna happen, but <laughs> there's no stopping from us dreaming and fantasizing, am I right? I five. With that being said, that'll do it for this video. Remember, I need to know what you guys think of Season 5 and what are the things you, my friend, are expecting from Season 5 or even DLC. Let me know all of that good stuff down in the comments. With that being said, make sure to hit that like button if you're new here. Smack that subscribe button and help us get to 15,000 subscribers. I mean, come on. It's, it's less than 2,000 subscribers. Come on, y'all. We can do this. We are strong and become an official member of Smack Empire. I'm your host, Smack Empire. And until next time, take care of yourself and your family. Stay humble and be grateful. And peace. Ooh, I like this ASMR stop.